Hey, Hugh Gordon has uh, joined me in the kitchen. He says he can turn a pot spoon. I can turn up the heat in the kitchen too well. The stove right here, so we can see that after. <laughs> yeah. You cook? You say you, you, you seriously cook? Yeah, a lot of people, they label me as a mama's boy, but I can handle my stories yeah. for myself. Yeah, it's so something that she also taught me growing up. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. So you're not, you're not a stranger in the kitchen. You know, what, you, know what, you know your way around the kitchen. I'm not really handicapped in the kitchen, to be honest. Right. So I can handle my stories. No corned beef and rice. You know, we here, we with tilapia. You know, it's something that I really like also, tilapia and salmon. Right. But I know you'll show the recipe for us just now. So we will know the recipe. The yeah. recipe is simply a uh, mixed bean salad with tilapia. So we eat as a host of different beans that we're going to put together and that's going to form the basis of the salad. Let me just do something very quickly before we start. This is very, very, very important on the Trinity Cooks Thursday to make things very clear. My name is Joel Villafano. I am not a chef, but I can roll out a recipe and follow it from trinitycooks.com and hopefully Jay Hugh Gordon can have something to eat before he leaves the show this morning. Yeah, hopefully I'm starved to death by that time. <laughs> <laughs> so you should get cracking. Yeah. Let's, let's get the beans. Right. So, so we have different about four mm. basic I see beans. we have some chana here this is that chana so what chana. i'm going to do you, you you pass i'm going to drain all right all right bam get rid of that this some is black beans black beans what else you have here butter beans butter beans and some whole kernel sweet corn you really know you're, you're something <laughs> you sound like you know what you're talking about yeah. <laughs> you sound like you know what you're talking about um, so basically, Jehu. Right, so I'll just wash the beans out a little bit as well, Jehu. Just so. So why are we really washing all the beans? I suppose it's really just to get out oil. But you see, like if you, if you look down in the sink, you see all the little excess. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, because the black beans, I think. Yeah. Has its own kind of texture. So you just want you don't want to be eating the salad and you're getting all sorts of. And I guess we're trying to be as original as possible too. Yeah. Right, so and the, getting the water out is critical. So then okay. now you could pour Let's into pour your bowl. Out into my bowl right here. Yeah. Right. Yep. So basically, from from from, from the I I want you to add the rest because body is a very interesting bean as well. Oh, so I love body. You love body. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, body. Get the, get the body in there. Yeah. Also, get your tomatoes, and we have some lovely red onions. Get all of that in there. Everything going in there. And I want you to give it a nice mix. While Jay is doing that, I'm going to prepare the dressing for the bean salad. We start with uh, some nariel oil in a nice small bowl. And from there, we season up the oil. Some black pepper. Can you hand me that um, green apparatus, not this one? Okay. This is basically a, a nice tablespoon, teaspoon measurement, oh, all in one. That's a really fancy tablespoon fancy, measurement. Very yeah. fancy indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like fancy stuff now. <laughs> but also, it's very important because mm -hmm. when a recipe kind of tells me, a teaspoon of that, quarter, quarter teaspoon, I like to stick to yeah. that. If I need to add after, add after, but I like to stick to the measurements as best as I can. You know what so, I normally use? What? These two things right That's here. what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah, averaging. Yeah, yeah, but I guess for the But that's how good cooks cook, so you mm. want a good cook? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a good cook. I'm a seasoned cook, just like how we season it now, I'm a seasoned cook. <laughs> so let's, let's get cracking, Jay, you go ahead. Quarter teaspoon, which is, see that? Quarter yeah. teaspoon, wow. right? Quarter teaspoon. You get that in there, that's black, black pepper, precise. Right? You have quarter teaspoon black pepper. So it, it, you can I use pepper sauce or you can use red pepper flakes. This is red pepper flakes I really like. You use a quarter teaspoon of that as well. It's just for a little heat. You can use pepper sauce if you also have like, you know, two, two or three dashes of pepper sauce. Oh. Um, mustard. A tablespoon of mustard. Bam. Ooh. You're a little messy boy. That's all right. We're in the yeah. kitchen. I think that's about it there. Yeah. Bam. Let me just wash this out. What kind of flavors are we expecting from this seasoning here, really? So I'm, 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 I'm thinking this is a nice vinaigrette. You know, mm. like a vinaigrette is an oil-based. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the vinaigrette will be a nice seasoned, um, oily, not, not over oily, but mm. it's going to be that, that vinaigrette type so of So we're expecting like a sweet, a kind of stingy, a kind of tangy, tangy. tangy, tangy. Okay. Yes, right. yes, tangy. Tangy might be the word. Yeah. And uh, this is red wine vinegar. That's giving me a little trouble to come out. 
this this is actually giving it the little tongue. So we want two tablespoons of that in there. You could use rice wine vinegar as well if, if you have any any type of vinegar, nice seasoned vinegar will work will will work, work, work well with this. All right? Um, garlic. Garlic press. That's silver. Yes. Real fancy. Thing Real fancy thing. <laughs> Easy does it. The first time I saw a garlic press, I said I'm not chopping up another garlic in my life again. Well, I saw those potato peelers also. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Yep. So and you basically blend this up together, Ju. A little salt, I'm going to pinch now mm -hmm. because it's salt, you could, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. A little thing, salt. Any sugar? A little sugar. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yeah, bam, bam, bam. A little average there. It's about a half a teaspoon, I would say about a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay. Mix that up there. Just for the little local flavor. Mm -hmm. Some shadow bend. Mm, nothing like fresh herbs. So you get some fresh herbs going in there. So I'm going to do a quick chop of the shadow bendy. Take care, chop a finger. Eh? <laughs> oh, I know you're going to know that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Jayu, you are one of the young men that I see that are really, really proud of. The line of colognes that you just did there, mm -hmm. Ambition. Yeah. Where did it come from in your head? Or was that advice that you got and you just, and, and no. where did that come from? That well, initiative? It, it, it took me a while to, to really develop this idea. Mm -hmm. My local manager, Mr. Edwin Skinner, he brought that idea to me and I was a bit skeptical at first because, you know, most people would be a bit lead back as to, you know, why would somebody want to start a cologne line? Mm -hmm. Especially, I guess they would require me as not a big dog, you know, as right, we would right. say locally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's not really what we're trying to, to push to people. Um, it's really to get people to understand what athletes go through on a daily basis, the sacrifices, the struggles, the obstacles that we have to overcome, right? Or fuel our desires to achieve our goals on a daily basis. And everything really is plunged into the bottle. So with that being said, that's really the idea that we're trying to get people to buy into. You understand mm -hmm. what athletes go through on a daily basis. So it's not really about winning or success because success could be deemed different for you and also for myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Success for me could just be happiness, a peace of mind, you know, where success for you might be monetary value mm -hmm, or, you know, mm -hmm. just having physical things at hand. But we need to understand what sport entails and really respect what athletes per se go through on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to yeah. push. Hence ambition. Hence ambition. Hence, hence, hence ambition. Um, I'm just using some of my nariel oil in here as well. Okay. Jehu, this is to get the tilapia going. You see, tilapia is a nice, lovely smell. white fish. It's salt, oh. pepper, oh. some good trini, <laughs> some good trini yeah. green seasoning in there. Well put together. Yeah, some good trini green seasoning in there. Um, what we're going to do with this is, first of all, I want you now to That's take this. Bunch yeah. to so I'm, to, I'm, I'm putting, I'm putting about half of it here. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it needs some more. Yeah. Um, and, and give me a nice mix there. While I just get this fish going, guys. This is the tilapia. And... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah? I can smell everything inside. Oh, the flour is also a very simple seasoned flour. Salt, pepper. Um, uh, just basic, basic seasonings in there. And you get the fish going. This is really just to give it some texture. Yeah, fire is up. How are you looking there? So far, so good. Yeah? Yeah. Could do it. Could pour the rest one. Yeah. Because this is really uh, the flavor of the beans. Yeah? So let me ask you this, Joel. You asking me questions. I like <laughs> that. You go ahead. You decided to make this health healthy recipe because I was coming on set? That's right. Or because it was initially planned? No. Yeah. So you just decided because as an athlete, you know, I need to eat healthy and I wanted to make I something healthy. I wanted to show when you win the gold medal at the Olympics next year. I can't blame you. I could I say, <laughs> you, see, you see that bean, that bean and tilapia salad we do for Shady Gordon, that contributed in a significant way. You're looking it's for all the promotion medal. you can get yeah. out. <laughs> the bean salad contributed to that gold medal. Yeah, man. Next year, I come and I do ones in a... Fatty food here for you. Macaroni pie Ma and all kind yeah, of greasy yeah, pig and thing, nah, nah. But you know, I'm thankful for 
for being able to eat this healthy salad and yeah. <laughs> so folks, Jay Gordon mixing the bean salad. We're gonna plate up when we come back. I am gonna continue getting the tilapia going, the oil now incorporating and getting nice and hot for me. I think we finished with this, I can just put it to the side. You can put that to the side there and we are going to get the tilapia going. While the tilapia is sorting up, we will plate the tilapia with the salad. Uh, we'll have some lettuce and we'll plate it nicely. Jehu will stick around, he will taste, I will sample the ambition in a bit. So Jehu Gordon in the kitchen with me this morning. We just rolled out a recipe. Mixed bean salad with tilapia. Don't move.